explain why this symptom in particular is generating so much interest. Yeah, so the medical terms are anosmia, loss of smell, and dysgeusia, which is a change in taste. It's thought that the virus might be affecting the nerves that carry those senses. And researchers want to learn much more about this unusual symptom as quickly as possible, and they are asking the public for your help. We've known for many years that when you have a viral illness, you might lose your sense of smell temporarily um, or permanently. And over the last three weeks, it's become apparent that um, COVID-19 may be a little unique in this respect and that it may or may not uniquely target the sense of smell in a way that other viruses don't. John Hayes is the lead investigator at Penn State on a global study of the loss of smell and taste. At this point, we have over 400 people. Um, that includes research scientists, but also clinicians, and includes patient advocates from at least 35 different countries. The study is recruiting patients over 18 who've had a recent respiratory illness to answer a brief survey about their symptoms and health history. If someone has not had a loss of smell or taste, we wanna know that as well. So we really want anybody that's had a recent respiratory illness, whether it's the flu, a common cold, or COVID-19. They started collecting data yesterday and already have several hundred surveys completed. We're hoping to get thousands because we really need those numbers to be able to see differences perhaps across countries um, and also to dive a little deeper into, you know, not just questions of is smell and taste loss occurring, but does it show a specific pattern with other symptoms? Now, if you've had COVID-19 or another recent respiratory illness, researchers are looking for your help. And you can find a link to the complete survey right now on the health page at clickondetroit.com. Yeah. All right, Frank. How soon, though, do uh, until we expect to have results from this study? We seem, seem to be waiting on the results from many, many studies going on right now. Well, yeah, you know, obviously there's a lot of studies going on to study a lot of different things. But, you know, as we've seen with other studies, COVID-19 research in particular is moving with a speed that is previously unseen in the research world. Yeah. These researchers are taking an open science approach. So as new data comes in and is evaluated, it'll be posted to a public data repository. And they're hoping to find some answers regarding this symptom as quickly as possible. Yeah, so we'll wiki, see. Stay tuned. Yeah, a wiki approach. Cool. All right, Doc.